Hello everyone, it's me again, um, with another room tour because I wanted to document this before it kind of changed, I guess. Anyway, uh, this is the, the most recent thing that I've done. Uh, it's, I set up a fairly large transformer display, uh, including all of my Optimus Prime figures, um, two of the Hallmark ornaments, the Starscream and Soundwave from, uh, like, up to two years ago, and then, right there, G1 Walmart reissue Soundwave, uh, Big Giant Bumblebee from Revenge of the Fallen, uh, my first ever Transformer, uh, Movie 1 Ratchet, Movie 1 Bumblebee, Movie 1, uh, Alita 1, Studio Series Barricade, uh, let me just, so yeah, Studio Series Barricade, um, oh, Classic Camaro Bumblebee, Movie 1 Jazz, Movie 1 Dropkick, Roadbuster from Dark of the Moon, and Studio Series Bumblebee Movie Bumblebee, uh, Classic Deco Ratchet, like, Deluxe Class or something, and, um, then it goes into animated. Uh, we've got Swindle, Starscream, Ratchet, Soundwave, Blitzwing, uh, Deluxe Class Cybertronian Megatron, Safeguard, um, and Tiny Little Grimlock Activators toy. And then it moves over to the main display, which is like a battle scene between Decepticons and Autobots. It's kind of slim right now, but it will be getting bigger soon, uh, within the next, like, what would it be, four months, no, three months, specifically December 25th, probably, uh, but yeah, we've got Devastator, Quake, uh, Armada Starscream, I believe, but I'm using him as a, uh, another character called Red Wing, a double crossing double cross or um twin inferno siege shockwave siege starscream and siege megatron and on autobots we've got uh power of the primes jazz titans return what's his name um cup titans return hot rod whose arm keeps falling down his ball joints have gotten loose uh, Prime, R.I.D., uh, Siege Hound, Titans Return Perceptor, Generations Legends Bumblebee, and Siege Prime. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I need to find a way to fix his arm. I did it. I changed up his pose. Fantastic. Um, oh yeah, I am also going to be adding an extra Optimus to this display he's probably gonna go right here or something uh or maybe on the shoulders of another but it's going to be the revel tech optimus the um the amazing yamaguchi optimus it's coming out later in the month so that's pretty cool and then over here we've got the same posters i think i've changed it up since the last time i showed it i can't remember i know that they i added two more uh, so this is my Avengers comic poster, uh, my Lego Minecraft, Lego Star Wars, Lego Movie, uh, Nintendo Entertainment System mini poster thing, uh, a poster of, like, a bunch of Marvel characters I got a few months ago. It had to be July or August, and then the Skyrim thing, and then... Spider-Man Far From Home movie poster. This movie was fantastic. It's a shame that we aren't going to get a lot more out of this Tom Holland Spider-Man because it really was as good as this Raimi trilogy. And that, that, that J. Jonah Jameson bit at the end, that was phenomenal. But I'm not here to do a movie review. I've kind of stopped doing that, but anyway, let's move over here, and we'll, 
we'll get to that in a second. I want to touch on this. This is my collection of Star Wars minifigures that I've kept together throughout the past 11 years. Um, but yeah, it's a bunch of stuff. It's all kind of whack. And then that's on top of my uh, Lego manuals. They're all stacked according to size and age. And then there's some papers and some paintbrushes on top. That's not very important. Uh, then there's a bunch of just random books over here. And next to it is my dresser. I have moved my dresser to this wall now, the green screen wall. Um, and here on top of it is the Falcon, the UCS Falcon from 2017. Above that is the carrying case, or the minifig and parts carrying case of the original uh, UCS Falcon. And just down here there's the extra parts like the plaque and the radar dish and stuff. It's pretty cool. Video on this should be coming out soon. Um, and then over here, review station hasn't changed very much except it's now the home of this. Uh, it's a signed still uh, from Kevin Conroy. I got to meet him uh, earlier in the year, so no, no, like earlier this month. I don't know why I said in the year. I'm still working on the cap custom. Haven't really been working on it too much. Uh, I don't know if I've talked about this at all, but I am trying to get done with this Captain America in-game custom. So, but um, then there's just general stuff. Uh, green screen hasn't changed. This light, I brought that up a bit. I'm not sure why. I don't quite remember, but yeah. Then if we turn around real quick, we come across the Transformers animated backpack from 11 years ago. Um, this was my preschool backpack, and for some reason we've kept it throughout the years, so I thought, why not just show it off. So Then below that is the Toy Story poster. Equal, like, I have two favorite movies, this and Transformers, uh, the movie from 1986 great movies uh, but yeah and then there's the 66 Batcave I've kind of changed it up a bit there's some more there's some different stuff on it like um, Voltron is now on the reactor core uh, my pop Voltron I want to get a bigger Voltron uh, put him maybe there but yeah I don't know why Tinkerbell's right there and then this guy right here that is a just random minifigure I use for paint and stuff. Uh, I've got my two sonic screwdrivers from Doctor Who right there. And then a Master Chief figure. Don't know where I got him. Uh, just a box of random Lego bits and uh, useful things like Sharpies and pencils and other stuff. A die-cast Batmobile I got at my local comic shop which I cannot find any information on uh, the Penguin Arctic Roller, the uh, Darth Vader Play-Doh, and my Sticky Tack. Below that is the 20th Anniversary Snowspeeder, Brickhead's Thanos, uh, Death Star playset from, what was it, Disney Infinity, Steamboat Willie, some... Toy Story Mania glasses that we forgot to turn back into the Disney employees on our trip. Uh, the gift with purchase rocket thing um, from Ideas. And then this Mickey card that we got after our trip over the summer. And then the Toy Story 2 or 4. Toy Story 4 um, big giant octopus set. Don't know what it's called. Don't really care. On this side, we've still got the uh, Statue of Liberty and Lego Man right there. And then over here is where I moved the bookshelf. So we're going to start low. Uh, right here, I'm actually going to have to stop the video. So right here is the Planet Series Death Star and Yavin 4 uh, planet models. And then my 2011 Falcon with the 2018 Anakin Starfighter on top. Uh, some just, uh, same Bosque figure. I don't know why I keep him there. Two Yoda bobbleheads and then my Black Series collection. 
this probably won't get added to uh, that often anymore. I'm not really a big fan of the Black Series. My favorite figure out of these is the Stormtrooper because it has um, the most articulation, I think, of any of them. So, But they are making improvements, like with the face tech thing. I don't, I don't think I have any of those figures here. I don't think I've ever bought one of them, but they do look kind of cool. Might get the new Ray from the Star Wars um, Episode 9, which I don't care to know the title of. My brother gave me his Poe Dameron X-Wing over the summer, so that was cool of him. Um, so now I have the uh, new trail. This is my only new trilogy set that I show on display. I guess you could count the uh, UCS 2017 Falcon as one. If you put the different accessories on. But then I've got some die cast ships from Hot Wheels and other spots. Uh, so yeah. Then above that is the Slave One and Obi-Wan Kenobi and Commander Cody bowlable figures with the New York Skyline set. Uh, behind them and a Minecraft Steve figure right there um, but yeah as I mentioned the slave one uh, still one of my favorite sets but this might actually be my favorite right here um, the uh, green ninja mech dragon because it, I love this color of green um, I actually have a shirt that is a near match to this shade of green this uh, sand green and it is my favorite shirt. Uh, doesn't have anything on it. It's just a shirt with a pocket. But I just like it so much. And um, okay, and then we've got the 2008 Anakin's Jedi Starfighter. I think it was 2008, but or not Starfighter. The uh, Y-wing bomber, uh, buildable figure, Grievous. And then behind that is the 2017 Ninjago movie Destiny's Bounty. This is a Again, one of my favorite sets. These Ninjago movie sets are phenomenal. Uh, if you aren't really a big fan of Ninjago, but you are a big uh, fan of fantastic builds and interesting concepts, you should get at least one of these two sets. I'd say maybe start off with this one if you like it, then go to this one. They're both probably going to be retired this year, so got to act fast. And then... On top of that, we've got some Marvel. So here is my little Lego Marvel display along with a Iron Man weird bobblehead looking thing. Uh, <coughs> I've got a condensed version of the Hall of Armor because I had to use those parts to make uh, a mock. Or I didn't have to use them. I could have found others, but they were the easiest I could find and then my arc reactor mock here really proud of this uh, it's not very accurate but I still like it and then my Igor mock right there built out of all pieces from the set um, the Iron Man Hall of Armor set then we've got the War Machine Buster Captain America's bike of death and destruction a Iron Man 3 mark 43 42 <coughs> 42 um weird figure from that my that I took from my brother it lights up and makes sounds uh and then a Spider-Man Far From Home cup that I randomly got at Cinemark I have no idea why I have it they just gave it to us so and then my Marvel Legends display it's been updated a bit. Uh, there have been some additions uh, since the last time I filmed this. There's been, I think, uh, yeah. So I put Lady Death in there. Let's just go through it all. There's two spectacular Spider-Man figures. You can just barely see that one. And then there's a weird one back there. Uh, Marvel Select Thanos. Uh, classic Thanos. 20... No. Marvel Studios 10 Years Ultron. Uh, what's it? Invincible Iron Man or something? 
uh, Songbird, I think. Proxima Midnight. Uh, Spectacular Spider-Man Sandman. I need to touch up that face paint and some of the green on him. The uh, Black Spider, Black Suit Spider-Man Craven, the Hunter Two Pack Craven, and Spider-Man. Thanos Wave Taskmaster. Uh, Amazing Yamaguchi, Rebel Tech Iron Man, Iron Spider, uh, Doctor Octopus from the second Raimi movie, 80th Anniversary Captain America, Infinity War, Iron Man, uh, Build a Figure Thanos, King Cobra, customized Jake Gyllenhaal looking uh, Infinity War cap. A, another black suit spider-man and then the rainy spider-man above that is some more stuff there's the death star with the x-wing on top the uh, clone tank thing I don't know what it's called and then Luke's land speeders behind that and then this is the mock I was working on it's a bat cave I got the new Batmobile set which is cool the uh, minifigs are great uh, Batman's already in the suit display and then Joker is right there over that I just have the TIE Fighter. I need to find a better spot for this. I don't know where I'm going to put it. So, and Then above that is this old wooden shelf that's been up there for at least a decade now. I'm pretty sure. No. Probably like nine years. But uh, there has been a clear out. So uh, up here we've got a six figure arts Mario. Uh, pop vinyl woody and then pop vinyl tardis so yay that's it um let's just go back around so yeah cool i'm really proud of this display here it it's the bulk of my transformers collection and it shows like how long i've been with it uh especially this figure right here the um movie one Spring Launcher Optimus Prime or whatnot. I do have I have made a custom Lego All Spark from the first movie. It needs to be in dark gray, but I don't have one of these parts in dark gray. It's the uh, inverted tile. It's one of these. Yeah, I don't have one of these in dark gray. So if I ever do get one of those, I'll probably make it into that so yeah anyway that's it from me I'm going to be done now okay bye